Hi there. In this screencast, we'll show you how to use AuthorizeNet's DPM method for uh, accepting credit card payments on Heroku. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is click on Try It Out to get started. Um, you'll see here that the first step is to sign up for a test account, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll need these, this test account just to get our gateway credentials for accessing the API. Let's see if I can get the CAPTCHA correct. There we are. So you'll see here that we now have an API login and a transaction key. Um, the flow is going to remember those values for us, but you can it's best probably to copy those to a safe place. Uh, next thing we're going to do is continue on with accepting a payment in 15 minutes here. Um, we're going to choose Ruby as our language. And you'll see that we're just going to keep following the directions here. Uh, I've already downloaded the gem here, so that's step two. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new Rails app, CD into it, and run this new uh, generator command. It's going to take a, an argument of payments, is what we're going to call our controller, and it's going to take our gateway credentials. And um, then we should be pretty good to go. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So let's start by running uh, a Rails command to generate a new Rails app. We're going to force this to be a Rails 2.3.8, even though 3.0 out, is out. I'm going to still just use 2.3.8 for the time being. All right, there we are. We can change directories into it. And the um, next thing we can do is actually run the command that they gave us. So let's go ahead and copy that from the browser, literally, and just paste it into our new Rails project. Excellent. Um, since we're going to be deploying this to Heroku, I'm just going to go ahead and take... Um, the gems and unpack them. Really, the only gem we've explicitly depended on is um, the authorized net gem. But since it's not publicly available in, in Ruby for, uh, Ruby gems, we'll just go ahead and unpack it into the app now. To make the deployment a little easier. Great. Um, and Heroku requires uh, a bundler support these days. So let's go ahead and create our gem file. And inside our gem file, let's just put a few basics in there. Let's just say that we are interested in uh, sourcing from gem cutter, we want Rails 2.3.8 installed, and we know that we need a dependency of Nokogiri. Um, the Offnet uh, gem d requires that. So let's go ahead and commit this. Great. Um, since we're pushing to Heroku as well, we're going to need to go ahead and initialize a new Git repo. So let's do that now. So here we are. Let's add all of our files to it. Let's commit our first commit. All right. There we go. Um, now, since we're going to Heroku, we need to tell Heroku that we're making a new app. So let's generate one from our project. There we go. Ooh, Quiet Samurai 21. I like the sound of that. Um, all right, I think we're ready to push to Heroku now. So this is going to be a git push Heroku master. <clears throat> Do do do, go Heroku, go. There we go. Great. So let's go ahead and give this thing a try. So if you look at the instructions, they say that after you launch your app that you're going to go to the payments controller and the payment action and then enter this credit card number. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to payments slash payment. There we are. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and copy that test credit card number over. 
here we are. And uh, we just need any valid expiration dates. So let's go ahead and say uh, December of 2012, okay? And we can hit purchase. Now, the, what happened there was pretty fast. Um, you might have been hard to see, but we actually posted to Authnet, got a result, and they uh, sent us right back to our site. And the, 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 there was a quick flash of location here, but you can see that we actually did, in fact, invoke a credit card transaction. And here's our authorization code. Um, this demo makes a few assumptions. First is that um, we're just going to be doing a static uh, amount of $10 for the purchase. Uh, you can wire this up to be whatever you like later. So if we go back to payments, just so you can see this again. Right. There we are. You see that the, the amount is hard is hard coded there. Um, let's go ahead and launch TextMate on this guy. Let's show, show you some files here. Okay. Awesome. So the script generator created this simple controller for us. And you can see here that we've just hardwired in the amount there. We can change this to whatever you'd like. If you're integrating this into your cart, all you'd have to do is you know, take the final amount that you computed and, and set these parameters here. Um, and you know, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of other parameters uh, that are taken by the SIM method that um, you can use also on DPM, direct post method. Um, so that's there's a lot of customization here, but right out of the gate, we're, we're running, we've got this thing in the cloud, and um, I'm not even sure that this took us 15 minutes, so maybe we should tell those authorized.net guys that it's actually a little bit faster. And with that, um, that's really it, so enjoy.